starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Not a bad job of sign painting, huh? Well, I only hope I can do as well with these entry blanks. They look awfully complicated to me. I certainly hope Timmy hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Yeah. That's even better. Did you hear what I said? Well, yes, dear. Well, what do you think? Well, you know, Timmy's taking on a pretty big responsibility. He can handle it. Look at the way he got this Calverton Pigeon Club started. And the way he organized this race here. Well, I just hope everything goes smoothly. It will. And it's a perfect day for racing, too. Here come the first entries. Timmy! Everybody line up right here. My mom will take your entry and your money. Hey, be careful with them. Okay, Rusty. Here, I'll put them back myself. What's the matter with you? Now he's gonna fly home and I'll miss the race. Wait a minute, Rusty. Well, just stay here. Lassie will get him. Go get him, girl. go get him. No, just stay here, Rusty. Lassie will get him. That's it, girl. Bring him here, girl. Lassie. That's a nice pigeon you have there, Rusty. I'm glad you didn't lose him. I saved all my bean picking money to buy him. I'd sure like to take that prize home to my mom. Let's hope your bird is one of the winners. Thank you. Okay, everybody, we're ready to go. Now you clock your birds in at your own home lofts. Then you bring the clocks here where the time will be recorded. And good luck, everybody. And refreshments will be served just as soon as you all get back. Hey, where are you going to make the toss? About 60 miles west of Calverton. Well, you sure you know what you're doing? This is our first race. Sure. Lassie and I have raced pigeons in the statewide competitions. Well, just make sure you're careful with my bird, that's all. Oh, don't worry, Rusty. Timmy will take good care of your bird. All right, Lassie. Get in the back and keep an eye on him. like as good a place as any to make the toss. All right, in you go. <laughs> All right, Lassie. Here's go, Wing. Take him over there. Hold her right there, girl. Okay, put him down. You did.
the best in the whole county. I hope so. Ready? Ready. All right. Go! Looks like we got clear sailing, Timmy. It's gonna be a great race, Dad. Well, we gotta get moving. Our job's only half done. Come on. Okay. Wrong, Dad. Going should have been back by now. Yeah, nobody's shown up to report anything yet. I wonder if any of the other pigeons have come home. Timmy, I'm gonna make a few phone calls and find out what the situation is, okay? Thanks, Dad. Yes, I'll let you know as soon as we hear anything. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. That was Rusty Warden. He can't understand why his pigeon hasn't returned. Gosh, Dad. And he lives two miles closer to the liberation point than we do. Did he say anything else, Ruth? No, except that he seemed pretty upset about it. It's all right, I'll get it. Hello? Maybe that's someone reporting his pigeon came in. Huh, Dad? Could be, son. Well, that was the Everett boy. His pigeon hasn't returned either. Gosh, what are we gonna do? Oh, come on, Timmy. I'm sure there's some logical explanation for this. I'll call some of the others. Hey, Timmy, what happened to my bird? He hasn't come home yet. I don't know, Rusty. Well, where is he? I don't know. All of the birds seem to be late. We don't know what happened to him. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Take it easy, Rusty. Well, where's my pigeon? Don't worry, Rusty. Your pigeon will show up. Sowie. I'm sure glad I'm not you. Being responsible for all those birds, you're going to be paying people off for the rest of your life. That was Eric Borg on the phone. His bird hasn't shown up either. Like I said, I sure wouldn't want to be you. talked you into it. You're not responsible. I am. Oh, now, Timmy, we're all in this together. That's what families are for, to share things. But, Mom, I talked all those people into raising pigeons and the kids in spending their allowances. Oh, don't talk like that, Timmy. 
we'll, uh, we'll find the pigeons. Lassie and I are going out to look for them right now. And we won't be back till we find them. Come on, girl. I mean, I'm sorry about Joey's bird. Well, all the pigeons seem to be lost. Y yes, we're doing all we can. Uh, Timmy and Lassie and Paul are out searching now. Oh, we will. Yes, I'll let you know as soon as we hear anything. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Paul, there have been a lot more phone calls. Uh, it figures. Did you have any luck? No, no. Are Timmy and Lassie home yet? Not yet. Well, I guess it's hopeless. I saw a crow and a couple of ravens and a hawk, but no pigeons. Well, come on in and have something to eat anyway. Somebody might as well enjoy all this food I've prepared. <laughs> around here, we'd see them trying to get away from that hawk. Lassie, there's a pigeon.
Bring him here, girl. Come on, lassie. Bring Owen here. the fence, she'll be killed. Stay right there, Lassie. Don't touch the fence. Mister, my dog and my pigeon are inside the electric fence by the radar tower. How'd your dog get in there? Lassie can jump over anything. It's a lucky thing she cleared it, but you'd better get her out of there. Well, I don't want her to try it again. She might just touch it. If she touches that fence, she'll be a dead dog. I can't help you now. Got a plane coming in for a landing. Well, can't you do something? I can't shut off the power now. That'd interfere with the radar beam. Better keep your dog away from the fence till the plane is on the runway. I'll try. Good girl, Lassie. Keep him away from the fence, Lassie. Get him, Lassie. Stop him. See you got your dog out, son. Where's the pigeon? There he is. Well, I'll be. Where are all those pigeons coming from? Well, we're having a race over in Calverton. But somehow they got lost. We've been searching for them for hours. They must have flown into the radar beam and lost their sense of balance and direction. So that's it. You hear that, girl? I sure hope you got the winner. Thanks, mister. But the important thing is that they're all safe.
Kimmy, don't you think you've had enough? That's three slices all in one day. And what a day. I wouldn't want to go through that again. Next time, we'll have to give the toss from the opposite direction. Next time? Sure, Dad. Russ and I are planning to give the next race in about two weeks. Oh, well, then, uh, maybe Rusty's father would like to help with the toss. <laughs> you know, Mom, I'm sure glad Rusty's pigeon won. I know you are, dear, and so am I. But even though Goldwing did come in second, you don't have to eat the whole prize all at once. Lassie's the one who really should get the prize. But I guess she's happy enough even without it.